Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Yusef Scott and I thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Um, I definitely appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time out of your day to watch these videos that I continue to pump out for you. Um, I just, I'm just very thankful that I do have loyal viewers and subscribers who go out of their way to contact me and thank me for the dedication and, and you know how passionate I am about bringing out content, fresh content to you guys. Um, I, I normally, when I, when I receive these emails from people, what I normally do is I normally think about exactly what it is that, what, that you all are asking and some topics really motivate me to create a video and usually I create a video around that topic so that I figure if one person is asking this question then probably a lot of people might have the same question, alright? Or you know, a lot of people might have that same issue or, or struggle. So basically this video tonight is going to be um, around the topic of um, strength in the market. All right. Now, your strength in the market is is basically um, if you look at your account, it's your margin level percentage. All right. And if you're trading too high of of a volume, it will decrease your margin level per, uh, percentage significantly. All right. Um, just this is just an example. An example. Let's say you had a thousand dollars inside of your account. You're trading at one dollar a pip. All right, and you had someone else. They had a thousand dollars inside of their account, but they're trading at five dollars a pip. The person with the dollar a pip, or the person trading at one dollar a pip. Would actually have more strength in the market because a dollar pip. This is the way that I do it. A dollar pip will give you a thousand, roughly a one thousand pip range. If you have a thousand dollars in your account, you're trading at one dollar pip. You have like a one thousand pip buffer, if you will, before stop out. Now imagine this: you're trading at five dollars a pip with a thousand dollars inside of your account. So that means instead of you have a thousand pip buffer. Now you've shrunk it down to just two hundred. A huge drop. So that means your margin level percentage or your strength in a market will be uh, significantly decreased. All right. So that's something you want to keep in mind when you're trading. Make sure that the volume you're trading at is not too high. All right. Um, the example that I use about having a thousand dollars in your account trading at a dollar, I know that some people they say you know don't trade over a certain percentage of your account. This is what I do, and you guys, if you decide to do this, that's on you. But I like to trade. I like to have at minimum, at the minimum, you know, um, I don't like to go below a thousand pip range. You know, so for instance, if I had a thousand dollars in my account, I, I don't want to trade at two dollars. You know, because that decreases my range by five hundred pips. So, basically, and let's let's think about this. If from here to my strike line is one thousand pips, understand this. You got in down here. And this is just an example. And the market, you got in down here, and you're trading at one dollar pip. Well, by the time we get up here, you've done made. Let's see how many, how many pips you done made. Just just an, an example. That's about a thousand pips from here to here. All right. So basically, what that is telling me is that if you got in the market down here, and the market Let's just say you put in a buy, all right? By the time you got up here, you should have doubled your money, pretty much, all right? But, however, let's let's look at it like this. If you put in a sale down here and the market went up, the market will have to go from here to roughly around here before it take you out. Depending on if it's news, you know, there, there's a lot of variables that could come into play that will decrease it uh, but just let's let's consider there's no news it's just normal trading 
you'll have roughly a thousand pip buffer all right so if you couldn't close your trade if you watching this trade go up you have a long way before it stop out a long way you could go across the country and come back before this market actually reached your 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 uh, stop area and pull you out of the market so with that if you're trading with a thousand dollars in your account I would rather trade at a dollar and have the market be able to go this far opposed to trading at let's, let's just say trading at um, you know five dollars and only it, you know and the market can only go you know a fifth of the way you know so I would I mean you figure from here to here let's just see about how far that is could be about 200 pips look at that 200 pips so you figure from here to here for those of you that don't know I, I'm actually a numbers guy I love numbers and which is why I do uh, certain things that I use in a market I love numbers so I pretty much eyed that out pretty good so basically um, basically the market trading at a, with a thousand dollars in your account but five dollars a pip you're only giving yourself this amount of distance before you can get stopped out that's very risky very risky so instead of trading with that type of strength your your strength would be very it will be so small I mean one one sudden jolt you can be put put out of the market so why not trade at a lower volume and as as the market goes up you just increase your volume you know as the market goes up like for instance if you had a line there you had a line there and you had a line there at each line you could you could essentially increase your volume whenever it reached like from here you trading at a dollar when you got to here that's two hundred dollars so from here to here you're up two hundred dollars so let's just say you're up you're up two hundred all right then when the market comes to here, instead of trading at a dollar, now you have you have an option. You can either close this trade and wait until you get a confirmation that it's going to go above, and you can, if you close this trade, your account is now at twelve hundred. And then from here, you can open up your trade, and you can open up at two dollars. Whether you close it or not, if you close this one, you close the first one at here, you can open this one up at $2. All right? And then now from here to here, you may you double your money. You're now at 400 profit. All right? So you now made 400. Then from here to here, when the market comes to, to this level, you take your 400 now your count is at what 1600 so now from here to here you can increase it by another buck so now you're trading at three dollars so now from here to here three times 200 that's 600 so you done made 600 dollars in between here all right and then when the market come here, it's, it's the same thing. So now you increase it to four. So four times two hundred, that's eight. So now you you're, you're you're seeing the 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 pattern here. So now by the time the market got up to this point, you made two hundred, four hundred, six hundred, eight hundred. And guess what? When you add all that up, how much is that? How much is that? Well, it's simple. It's two thousand dollars. You would have made two thousand dollars from here to here. You would have, you would have made a great profit. But all along, you were compounding your money. 
as the market went up and you took your, your account from a thousand dollars to twelve hundred to sixteen hundred twenty two hundred three grand thousand pips very 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 simple now of course you would have to be patient because the market the market at times will go up and install go up and install for a number of days go down and then go back up but guess what when you have to strengthen your account it doesn't matter where the market goes if you have to strengthen your account and whatever you're trading at is it can't take you out it doesn't matter where the market goes it does not matter you will always find profit so basically you could have made two thousand dollars off of this move from here to here thousand pips two thousand dollars easily and that's because you know you can create these little strategies where okay every time I get to this point I'm going to increase it by a dollar maybe this one I'll increase it by three dollars and this one I'll you know you can play around with the numbers but understand this numbers will never lie so if you get stopped out it, it's a reason why you got stopped out your account didn't have enough capital or equity and you or you were trading too high for the size of account that you have so you have to maintain a nice um, you know balance inside of your account and uh, you have to make sure that your your volume is not too heavy because if it's too heavy then you know it could mean it could mean you know that you could possibly get stopped out all right so um, I just wanted you guys to see that um, you know there are there are strategies that you could just create for yourself that you know and it's tested it out see if it works you got to use your mind you got to use your brain and just think about okay what is it that I want what's the smartest way to, to get at that at, you know at that point you know I want to I want to achieve I want to gain two thousand dollars how could I get there all right well I see the market came here if the market went to this point and it's a hundred pips away what do I need to do to achieve that mark if it means that you have to increase your volume way too high that's decreasing your marginal percentage or strength in the market then that's telling you that you're trading too high you shouldn't have to trade too high you should trade trade with ease you know if you make if you make for every 50 pips you make you know um, you know you should be able to if you want to say 50 pips increase your volume a little you know it's, it's a lot of ways you can do it so you have to be creative but make sure that the numbers will never lie to you the numbers will never lie if you are looking at the numbers then your numbers should not lie pay attention to the numbers let's imagine let's imagine you have fifty thousand dollars inside of your account and you're trading at a dollar let's say you put one trade in do you know what the marginal percentage or the strength in your account would be trading at just one dollar with a fifty thousand um, dollar equity it will be ridiculously high of course it depends on your, your leverage but still it will be ridiculously high and what that means is that it doesn't matter where the market goes the market if you notice and this is where you have to do your back testing you have to look at these things okay we know that this is let's say a 2000 pip run so we see the market making 2000 pip runs up and then down so if you're trading from here and you see the the market move you see that the market is going up to this point and down what I would do I would measure from the bottom to the highest part and say alright well that's 2000 pips if I have fifty thousand dollars in my account and I'm trading at a dollar you know how high this will have to go in order to stop you out out in la la land somewhere so far up to a different galaxy probably like it's no way but if you are looking at the way the market is moving 
and you, you and you see the clues in a market you letting you know all of the the um, the clues left behind by the big big banks in a in a um, market makers you letting their clues determine where you see the market going you let them tell you where the market's going to go so once you see where you see their pattern you you see their move then all you do you play off of that real simple play off of their move so okay I see they're taking it from here to here and it's ranging so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let me measure this out let me see what's going on the market went from there to there so that's about two thousand pips so that means if I'm tr if I have two thousand dollars in my account and I'm trading at a dollar a pip that gives me a two thousand pip range so that means the market can go up twice as high before I get stopped out so that means if I put a trade in down here and it was a sale and the market went up, it can go up up to here and I'm still safe. And and that's 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 the way I look at it. Okay, if I put a sale in right here in a market, I see the market going up a thousand pips on average. Then I say, okay, well if the market going up to there, this is a thousand pip run. I'm only trading at a dollar a pip. So that's giving me, if a dollar pit with 2,000 in my account, that's giving me twice what I said before, having a 1,000 pit range, now I have a 2,000 pit range. So I know that even if the market, even if I got in here and the market went up to here, I know that it's gonna bounce back down. I'm, I'll just wait, I can wait until it bounce back down. You know, that tells me I have to strengthen the market to withstand the market going up to here and back down. So now I know that it's going to take for the market to go 2,000 pips before stop out. So with that, I'm good. I know that I'm good. So you could you could do that. Something else you can do, you know, if you see the market is ranging like this, you know, you could simply put in. And this is something else. I know that I talked about this strategy. The the um, you know the put a buy in put a sell in and something that I didn't mention that I want you guys to know is that it, it only works with uh, broke with brokers outside of the US regulated brokers it would not work um, but basically what happens if you could do that with your broker you could put a buy and a sell in here at support and take the market up to resistance close out your close out your 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 buy and provided the market is going to go back down now you can throw in a sale here and ride it back down to the other sale so you have one sale up here riding it all the way down and you're you're, you're making the same money you rode the same money you went up with the buy you can make on the sale going down so you make twice the money Provided the market go all the way back down if the market just came to here where you only had a small loss So, you know, that's it's so many it's so many different ways you guys and and these are the types of things that I um, You know, I put a lot of stuff out there online, but you know a lot of this stuff is really for um, it, It's really exclusive and I, I want to make make sure that you guys understand that this is definitely for um, you know these types of strategies are definitely for my 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 uh, my students and my students they you know I'm telling you you guys have to you have to think and if the market look at what's going on in the market makes sense out of it okay I look at I have trades here I have trades there right now so if the market is going down and I see that it has stopped at this level well let's look and see what's going on at this level is where the market touched here 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 just about there here 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 and that's where it's at so it dropped all the way down to the line and now it's going back up now I could take my profit I could take my profit right now and be happy with it but you know what I'm gonna hold out and that's where knowing where the market is going will benefit you having the strength in the market will definitely benefit you this is all that 
this I do this every single day the market is so easy to predict and understand you have to have the mindset forward and this is what I impart on my students so let me show you how to look at the market with a clear view this is this is how easy it is you got to be able to use these strategies like this and and you know and and you know attack don't don't let the market control you do not do not try to chase the market do, I mean sorry don't don't let the market chase you you chase after the market the market makers that is the market makers going down you chase them down if they're they're running up you run up after them you know so that's that's trading with ease but first you got to have to strengthen your account yes it takes money to make money so in that case you do not want to trade your money and trade it up too heavy because I've seen it too many times where you know people are trading and they, they have five hundred dollars in their account and what happens they, they, they get on a winning streak and then they, they get a little a little big-headed so they increase their volume just a little bit I'm gonna increase it a little bit oh they make some they make a little bit more money okay it's nice to see that I'm making you know you know two dollars a pip now so they increase it to three three and a half and that's when the market starts digging in them all that they made before is gone now because they've increased their volume and decrease and they decrease they increase their volume but at the same time decrease their margin over percentage so that means everything that they made as profit before it, it means nothing because now you're increasing your you're you're increasing your volume but at the same time decreasing your your range I want to have a big range not just a small range so if I have a big range it doesn't matter where the market goes if my if my if my volume that I'm trading with is at a decent size and I see where the market is going to go what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at okay the market is going to go there so what I'm going to do I'm going to take it every so often take a little bit of money here take a little bit there make it as it goes up that way I'm closing out the trade building more strength on my account so I'm not leaving myself open so um, I want you guys to really understand this having a much larger buffer before stop out is very crucial do not trade too heavy trying to make money too fast it will never work oh let me let me correct that it does work for some but not too long eventually it will catch up with you so trade lightly build your money ever so steadily and you'll realize that you can compound your money much faster so allow your money to mature by con just compound your money until you get to a certain amount where okay now I have five grand in my account I know that I can trade this much with five grand in your account a thousand pip range that gives you five dollars a pip that's if you so choose to trade that you don't have to you can trade at two dollars and fifty cent a pip give you you what two thousand pip range you don't have to trade that high that's just you know that's just I don't want to go lower than that. Thousand pips, you know, it really depends on what which which pair you're on. If you know, well, it really doesn't matter because it really depends on the situation in the market. If you analyze the charts and you see where the market is likely to go, and you say, okay, if, if that's the next level, then how far would it be to get there? This is what I want to trade. So it's so many different ways, you guys. I want to impart this stuff onto you, um, but I I, th I think that um, you know I, I want you guys to I want you guys to be appreciative of this knowledge that I have. I have great knowledge. I have a lot of strategies, and I want to be able to share all this stuff with you guys. But I also want you guys to take action. So um, you know. You, what, what I'm showing you are techniques techniques in the market that you can use to 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 win 
I show you a different, a different mindset, a different way of thinking about the market. Stuff that you know most people don't even talk about. You know, so um, it, it's a numbers game. When you when you enjoy numbers, you look at numbers, you start seeing things differently. You know, so um, that's all for now, you guys. I hope that you guys have taken something from this video. This is very powerful stuff, and I want you guys to know that this is the same type of stuff that. Um, if you think that this types, these types of um, ideas and 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 and, and strategies are are, um, if you think these are fascinating, imagine having a mentor that could be right there to to, to guide you along. You know, so the this is the type of stuff that I impart on my students. So um, if you guys haven't been wowed yet, you know, I don't know, I don't know what else could wow you. But I know one thing, all of my students that I train, they're, they're, they're all pretty, pretty ecstatic about the, if you want to call it the awakening to the market, being able to see things more clearly, you know. Um, so I just want you guys to know that um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a much, you know, this, this Forex game is very powerful and you have to be able to analyze the charts and see things. And that's my job. My job is to help you see what the market is doing. Trust me today. Head on over to www.sodarneasyforex.com and let's get you started. All right? Peace.